Anybody who's been to the hobo gathering knows that the campfire, it represents the kind of spirit of the community. So when the campfire is lit, it's the beginning of everyone getting together and celebrating. But when the campfire goes out, that means that we all have to be on our way. It's a sad time. And, and when we were putting away that campfire in Pennsburg for the very last time, I started thinking about it and thinking about Buzz. And I put together this little recitation. And it's called The Pennsburg Campfire. A young hobo hopped off a boxcar just outside of town and found a quiet little jungle where he could lay his bindle down and gather some dry firewood to brighten up the night. But when he struck his match, oh, he saw an awful eerie sight. For the campfire glowed and sparkled with a brilliant rainbow flame flickering and dancing like the headlight of a fast westbound train. Then walking out the fire cinders and through the smoky air came the ghost of some old hobos he thought he met somewhere. They came and shook his hand, as all good hobos do. Then they offered up a sput or two, started boiling up a stew. Their calm and friendly manners finally calmed that young bow's fright. He asked if they could jungle up together and spend a lonesome night. Each of us caught the westbound, one bow said with a tear, but we all come back to Pennsburg, if only once a year. On the third week in September, when fall is almost near, we hobo out of heaven and jungle up right here. You see, this old hobo jungle is a mighty sacred spot where hobos came year after year and camped on this very lot. It was one of the best gatherings that you could ever find where hobos were respected and treated oh so fine. And they looked into the campfire, for it was almost dawn. Then the bows made up their packs and said they'd be moving on. Then there was a mighty whistle and the campfire filled with steam. And all the hobos vanished like it was just a crazy dream. The young bow sat bewildered. He said, how could this really be? <laughs> is it the whiskey I've been drinking or is my mind just fooling me? Then he looked into the fire, and what he saw he could not explain, for there was hobo buddies riding on a fiery train. The train sounded one last whistle, and as hobo pal said, so long, then the wind blew the flames out, and the campfire light was gone. Then the young bow packed his bindle. He walked down to the track. He hopped inside a boxcar, but he knew that he'd be back. For the magic of Pennsburg's campfire still lives in all the hearts of every bow who went there and camped beneath the stars. And someday in the future, when all of us are gone, a space-age traveler will light the fire and the magic will live on.